We're here to talk about Rainbow Six at E3. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us your role and on what game? Yes, okay, uh, my name is Sebastien Labbé and I am the producer on uh, Rainbow Six Siege. So thankfully, finally, we can't wait, a new Rainbow Six game. Tell us all about it. Yes, this is all about, uh, if, you are, if you like uh, Rainbow Six, you will like this one because we go back to our, our uh, DNA. So if I have only three words to mention about that game, it will be tension, tactical, team play. It's all about that. It's all uh, around uh, five versus five players. Uh, we create a siege, attacker versus defenders. And uh, the, 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 the main thing in our, in our game this year that we present to you is uh, the destruction. So it's not only something that you will see or enjoy to see, it's meaningful for the gameplay itself. So it's allowed the player to be very creative, to create all uh, through wall, and this is procedural. So if I, do, uh, 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 I put a bomb uh, on a wall, that will be a huge hole, and if I just shoot at the wall, that will be a tiny, tiny hole. So you, you can expect to players to do some, some, some breach in the wall to see the other players coming in. So, that's, that's a very innovative gameplay, and we are pretty, very proud of what we are showing to you today. Okay. So are there different classes you can play as, or different character types, or is everybody the same? Yes, in fact, uh, it's not de decided yet in what classes that will be. Right? We're still in pre-alpha and pre -alpha production, so there's a lot of improvement that we want to do, but certainly everything we, we, we will have done, we'll have to, uh, to create or improve the gameplay itself. It will have to serve the gameplay. So at this point, I cannot tell you more than that about this, but this is truly, I think we will have something very strong. We are working hard, very hard to, to provide you the, the best gameplay possible. So obviously it's called um, Siege, and yeah. the gameplay is going to be where you're either trying to rescue a hostage yeah. or trying to keep the hostage from being rescued. Yeah. So how many sort of environments do you guys envision? Is it going to be a house, an office, boats, or is you not decided yet? Uh, probably all of the answer was good. Uh, this is a, yes, we will have we will provide a, a lot of uh, environment. Actually, in our in our, our studio in Montreal, we are play test uh, several kind of maps, tiny maps, bigger maps, and we are just trying to find the right recipe because uh, as is is not usual that we can destroy the level design itself. So we need to find the the, the, the best way, the, the the best balancing for the to to the game to be fun and uh, strategic and uh, so uh, tactical. This is why today uh, I cannot tell you more about this, but yes, we will provide you several maps the, and uh, you, you will like it very much. But you, you, you pronounce some maps that you will probably found in, in our game. And some in space. Yeah. Um, so have you guys had to develop any new technology to deliver this game? Yes, uh, actually uh, our uh, uh, IT group in uh, Ubisoft Montreal developed a new technology that we call Real Blast. Real Blast is a new technology that allow us to put destruction around uh, every wall, every floor, uh, almost everywhere. The, 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 the assets in the maps are destructible and all that at 60 FPS. That's incredible. This is, uh, this is very difficult to believe but what you just saw today, or the video that you saw, is came from the video, it's the, the, the game itself, the game engine itself. So we are working with Anvil, just like uh, Assassin's Creed, it's a well-known engine, so we are well aware how to work with that, but we are now actually uh, uh, learning to work with the real blast, who add a real blast in our game. So Rainbow Six is obviously a well-loved franchise. Do you guys feel any sort of pressure bring in another Rainbow Six game out and especially so long since the last one? Uh, it's, it, it, we always felt a pressure uh, when we deliver a game, uh, even if it's a, a, a brand that may be uh, not well known because we, we were for Ubisoft and we, we used to, to give to the, uh, our, our fans the, the, the best game. So uh, just for that, there's a lot of pressure for that. 
that being said, yeah, certainly I said yes to your answer. This is a lot of question. I know there's a lot of people waiting for us since that so long. Uh, and so am I waiting so, for that game also because uh, we like it very much. The, all the people on the dev team was player and we play our game and we test it every day. So if we're not happy about it, so we thought that the player will not be happy about it also. So this is why we are working out to, and we are really proud of what we are showing today. And we, we are back and this is a commitment that we are made, made in today. So we do, we, it, it's this game, we're working on it for 18 months. And what you saw today, it's only 18 months of works. And you, all, you already got the chance to take the controller and play it. So. That, that's a commitment. It's not only a video. It's not only a scripting thing. Just it's take real. the remote and it's real. So play it and we are back for real. And it's a blast. Thank you very um, much. And at the moment, obviously we're still quite away from the game release. Yeah. What are the planned formats for the game? Yes, okay. It's only on the next gen console and PCs. So there will be on Xbox One, PS4 and PCs. And certainly given what we've seen, I can understand why. Yeah. Yeah, because because we we cannot afford uh, to 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 run our game at 60 fps on the old the, the old gen, and we we will really want to go there. So uh, we we don't spend time on that. We we, we focus all of our, our effort to make uh, the best play, the best game possible with the best looking possible. Okay, so given that the game is obviously again siege and location based is there going to be um, any sort of story running through it or is it just scenarios that rainbow has been called in to rescue the woman from the house yeah or is there going to be a an ongoing story uh there's there's two answers for for your question so that's a good question uh the first answer was uh, there will be several uh, several type of gameplay that we'll have. So the hostage with a woman, it's only one mode of our gameplay. So you will be you will have other kind of hostage. Uh, it could be a man, it could be anything you, you may imagine. Uh, it could be a bomb. It could be everything that surrounds the the fantasy of the counter terrorist uh, counter terrorist unit. So that being said. Uh, we will. Rainbow Six is well known for all the story mode, all the campaign, and all things like that. So today we are here to talk about our PvP because we are have put all our effort on that. But stay tuned because there will be a lot, a lot of information that will come in through. So it's still, uh, it's still a lot of time because we'll, uh, a launch date was was uh, in uh, 2015. So there's a lot of time. We'll announce things after things to make you stay tuned. There will be a lot of information. And I, for one, I'm really looking forward to finding out more. Um, will we see any characters from previous Rainbow games or characters from the Rainbow Six books in the game? Actually, the, 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 the siege that you saw today is really from the heart of the first book of Rainbow Six. So I, what you see today is from the from the, the first book but uh, there, there, there will be I, I don't know if we will bring back uh, Dingo Chavez my, my favorite one I, I, I don't know if we will bring it, bring it back probably maybe we'll see I don't know for uh, it's too it's too fast to, to, to answer correctly that uh, okay, so, so we're not necessarily gonna see John Clark leading the charge and no, telling everyone what no, to no, do. no no it's it, not necessarily but we don't know perhaps being given orders by President Ryan. <laughs> um, great, so thank you very much for your time today and we look forward to finding out more in the coming months and year. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much and uh, very appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for watching. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link on the screen now.